Thank you for your trust in Buckstop fly screens. You will need the following tools to assemble your Buckstop fly screen. A hammer, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a metric band and a saw. First of all, we will check the content and the packaging. So open the packaging and check if there is a mesh, a small brush, a spline, a large brush, a fitting instruction, an accessory kit, two small profiles and two longer profiles. We will also check the content of the accessory kit. Two upper corners without rows and two bottom corners with rows. Before measuring, shut the window on one side and open it completely on the opposite side so that you can measure the full size of the opening to be covered. Now take at least three reference measurements in width, one at the bottom, one at the center and one at the top of the opening. You have to measure the width of the opening that has to be covered, which means the distance between the edge of the window frame, shown on the left side in the video, and the edge of the closed window panel, shown on the right side in the video. Caution! Out of the three measurements, note down the shortest one. To know where exactly you have to cut the profiles, you first have to look at the yellow sticker on the packaging. In our example, we mentioned a width of 700 mm. We've previously measured an opening of 688 mm in width, which means that you have to cut 12 mm or 1.2 cm of the profiles in width. We will now mark the two width profiles at 1.2 cm. The width profiles are, in our example, the shortest profiles. You can now cut the width profiles. Now take at least three reference measurements in height. One on the left side, one in the middle and one on the right side. You have to measure the height of the opening to be covered, which is the distance between the top edge of the window frame and the bottom edge of the window frame. Caution! Out of the three measurements, take the smallest size into account. To know where exactly you have to cut the profiles, you first have to look at the yellow sticker on the packaging. In our example, we mention a height of 1300 mm. We've previously measured an opening of 920 mm in height, which means that you have to cut 375 mm or 37.5 cm of the profiles in height. You can now mark the height profiles at 37.5 cm. These are the two remaining profiles, the longer ones. You can now cut both height profiles. We can now take out the protection film of the profiles. Display the profiles with the curved side down and check the brushes. There is one wide brush and one narrow brush. First take the narrow brush and insert it into the top groove of each profile. Once the brush is inserted, Cut it making sure that it reaches both edges of the profiles. You can now insert the first bottom corner. The bottom corners have an integrated roll. You can insert it with a hammer, but be careful not to break the corner. Once the corner is inserted, take the wider brush and glide it into the external groove of the profile.
and cut the brush leaving at least 3 cm from the edge of the profile. You can now insert the second bottom corner, check the integrated groove which is made for the insertion of the brush. Now repeat the same procedure with the top corners, the one without roll. First insert one corner, insert the external brush, cut it at 3 cm from the edge of the profile and then insert the second corner. We go on with the same procedure for the side profiles. Insert the side profiles into the top part, glide the brush and cut it at 3 cm from the edge of the profiles. Once done, you can then insert the bottom part into the side profiles. The frame is now already assembled. We are now going to display the mesh. For this you will need the mesh, the spline and the plastic insert tool. First of all, display the mesh on the back side of the structure. Take the spline and insert it into the groove of each profile thanks to the plastic insert tool. Caution! Make sure that the frame is displayed with 90 degrees angles and shows a perfectly squared shape. In order to assure the best tension of the mesh, we will proceed as follows. First of all, insert the spline right below the first corner. Insert it into the first profile without tensioning the mesh with your hand. When inserting the spline into the following side of the frame, don't tension the mesh with your hand either and leave the mesh just its position on its own. From the third side, tension the mesh with your hand while inserting the spline and go on tensioning and inserting the spline with the fourth side. This way you will make sure to get the best mesh tension for your fly screen. You can now cut the exceeding mesh. Make sure not to cut the spline, therefore we recommend you cut right over the spline. Your fly screen is now assembled.
To install the fly screen, just insert the top part of the fly screen into the top rail of the window frame and lay the bottom part on the bottom rail of the window frame. Your fly screen is now fitted. Always use a wet cloth to clean your boxed up fly screen. You can also clean the profiles with alcohol to remove strong stains. Thank you for your trust in boxed up fly screens.